Hey guys, just checking out my portfolio. Currently, the um, polling stations are counting up the votes for the uh, parliamentary um, sort of elections, whatever you want to call it, Labour versus Conservative. Um, and I just want to have a look and show you what's happened to the British pound position, the longs that I've been holding for quite a while. So I have three positions open. I don't like to have too many currency positions open at a single time. I've got a limit of five, so it's a personal limit um, based on a bunch of things, um, which I could go through now, but I don't want to because it will take too much time. So if you want to know about that, um, you can join the Lisa program. We'll teach you all about um, specific uh, exposure limits. So let's get right into it. The first is GBP AUD. Now I entered this position on the 12th of August, that is. Um, currently it's up about 1.6k pips now pips are irrelevant it's all about percentage return so um, what I've done to manage this position this is the weekly chart by the way um, on four hourly this looks like a much more massive gain um, you can see the entry was around this period over here currently it's been trending in my favor these are the kind of positions that you look for so Using fundamentals, you work out what's going to drive the long-term trend. Um, that's what I did. Worked out that the pound would strengthen um, versus majority of the economy. So I chose Australia and Canada to put, plot it against, you could say. Um, and yeah, it's turning out pretty good. I just wanted to show a little update. This is uh, the GBP CAD trade, uh, that version. If you have a look on 4-hourly, give a better appreciation of when I entered, entered around uh, this region here, the 7th of October. Uh, so wherever that would be, I'd be pretty much smack on right there. Um, and then it's continued to trend um, in my favor. What you'll notice is um, I don't really care about the moving average in a sense on my entries um, because what I'm trying to do is predict the future. So if it's already trending, it's, or if it's in another trend, it doesn't really matter to me. Um, as you see, the price action's moving horizontally through a line. Oh, what's that big? Uh, that's like a little pixelation over there. Oh, cool. A little shadow. So yeah, um, pound position positions working really well. I'm not going to sit there and say that I predicted what's going to happen with Brexit, but what happens is when you enter position six months prior to things, or four months in this example, prior to major events and you can um, gauge the hot money flow uh, what it allows you to do is keep the position open during volatile scenarios like this where i've been able to capture an extra gain so essentially you want to be in profit before a, a big economic event occurring because what it allows you to do then is make money from it because you've got a bit of a cushion to play with now the problem or what most retail traders do is they would go on a shorter time frame like hourly and try to trade as soon as these results are coming out so at like 10 o'clock for example and you've got a massive window when that happens now the problem if you're trading and putting your stop loss based on an hourly chart is this big jump the window you call it this gap it won't trigger any of your hard stop losses so this is why i don't trade shorter time frames i completely eliminate risk of that ever happening because on a weekly chart um, on the currency market at least you will not see a window ever really uh, it's very rarely you do and it would have to be a major major economic upset for that to happen so on here you you don't see anything and to be honest the election only boost boosted my position by a marginal amount it was already quite substantially in my favor so if you have a look at the non-leverage gain, we can work that out quite simply. So um, on GBP AUD, you wanna have the entry price, which is uh, 1.75. And what we wanna do is get the current price, uh, which is 1.945, minus that from the entry price, and then divide by the entry price. Wow, 
1.75. Cool. And that should equal. So if I just pull out my calculator. 1.945 minus 1.77 divided by 1.77 times 100. We're on a 9.88% gain here. So appreciation <coughs> in the um, GBP AUD. Um. Now, that is the non leverage gain. Non leveraged. So purely based on how much the asset moved. Now, I have leveraged limits. Um, if I go over, I'll just open up personal portfolio, just try and get over onto another screen. Um, so I don't give away too many of my private details. Um, my current exposure rate is eight, which basically means on the overall portfolio, I'm willing to leverage eight times. And because uh, my account size is around 300,000, that allows me to have uh, a gross portfolio exposure limit of 2.5 million um which basically means my single position limits um i'm essentially looking at oh, 500,000 maximum so these are still starter positions it's a little bit of a smaller starter position so um, i'm looking oh i've left room for myself to actually scale in where i can double this position and still be within my cap where i'm not leveraging more than eight times now that is purely just for the currency market on the stock market nowhere near that i'm probably leveraging like two times to three times maximum because those asset classes move a lot more quickly and a lot more erratically than the currency market because it's less liquid um so yeah and also uh, what's good to notice is everybody's short and the best feeling as a trader is being long and it being heavily in your favor when everybody else is short because it tells you that there's a lot of retail traders who do not know what they're doing as you know 90% lose so if 90% are doing or 80% here are selling it you probably don't want to be selling it but you also don't want to be buying it at the same time you you already want to be in that long position so it gives you confidence to hold it so yeah pound positions looking good uh, USD Japanese yen is one that I've entered recently on four days ago um, and it seems to be going um, in my favor so if I have a look on four hourly um, yeah uh, the, the the dollar strengthening was an expectation of mine I've done a YouTube video on it already on why full analysis on why I think the yen would weaken in comparison to the US dollar uh, a bunch of factors there and guess what uh, everybody is short on this over 81 percent and i'm a contrarian player in the market i do not want to be doing what everyone else is doing otherwise i will not make money i want to be making money of people making poor decisions so if you want to stay ahead in this game make sure you're not doing what everyone else is doing that's really important but at the same time make sure you're looking at the correct information um so yeah so this is looking reasonable the stop losses on these positions um this one i haven't moved yet uh, I've moved these to risk free on here to guarantee myself around three and a half grand on that one and two and a half grand on this, so I can't lose. Um, uh, these alerts, uh, this take profit shouldn't really exist. These alerts are where I'm potentially looking to scale in. So if it goes a bit further, I might double my position, um, which means I will move my stop loss um, even higher. So to make sure I can't lose, then every point on from that, um, I could potentially be making uh, a larger gain. So yeah, um, little video, just updating you on my currency portfolio because a lot of people are interested in Forex trading. Uh, nobody's interested in stock positions nowadays. So um, I just thought I'd show you and give a bit of full transparency on what my currency portfolio looks like. So here you go, guys. And these are all my positions. I actually um, made a video before I entered USD Japanese Yen um, so that everybody else could also take advantage of this. So if you enter that and you're in this position with me, um, <laughs> congratulations, because you're making money uh, without having to do any work, because you just had to follow what I was doing. But that's the way this world works, you know? This is the benefit of being part of the Logic Effects Academy. You'll get all my ideas and why I take them. And what I normally do is I don't just pump them out willy-nilly. I'll only give you something if I really think uh, there's substantial backing in the market. I'm a huge fan of fewer trades, but quality trades. You know, quantity is not quality. 
So a lot of people like to pump trades out, multiple trades a day, multiple trades a week. I'm a bit different. I look for high quality trades where I'm guaranteed to make sure that if I'm wrong, it doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. And if I'm right, I am right by a very, very large amount. So thank you guys and good luck with your trading.